Uncovering more tonight about a sad story in Brevard County. Three people, including a nine-year-old boy, killed in a house fire. It really is heartbreaking. A family member is now planning their funerals and is sharing her story with News 6. Malabar police say a 39-year-old man killed three people, then set the family's home on fire. He later killed himself. News 6's James Barbero has been getting answers about this all day. He is live in Brevard County tonight. And James, the relative you spoke with says she is just in shock right now now. Just look at what's left of her mother, her little brother's house, Lisa Matt, 3000 square feet reduced to this debris. The woman she tells me Sunday when she called her mother and her phone was off, she knew something was terribly wrong. I have a really close relationship with my mom and my brother. They were good people, that's for sure. Big sisters aren't supposed to bury their baby brothers. And when you're 20, it's also too soon to say goodbye to your mother. I'm definitely in shock, that's for sure. I, I honestly can't believe this happened. But such is this tragedy for Alexis McGuire. When deputies say 39-year-old Tony Hughes murdered her mother, Chrissy Hughes, her aunt, Linda Woods, and her 9-year-old brother, Sebastian Meacham. Thursday was actually... Sebastian's birthday. So we were at Aquatica. He was just loving everyone. I love you. I love you. He was really happy on his birthday. A happy child, despite, according to his big sister, living in an abusive household. Tony had always been like my mom's fallback person when relationships went sideways. He's always been someone to threaten, but I never thought that he would ever go through with it, especially not something like this. So no one tried to intervene with these issues that Tony and your mother had? I've been saying for years that I didn't like the relationship. No one really ever listened to me. Did you ever fear for your little brother's safety being inside that household? Honestly, yes. This newly released picture shows when deputies say the Coast Guard discovered Yuz's attempt to escape to sea after the murders and burning the house down. His body has not been found, but investigators say blood was on his boat. And back here in Malabar, the community now rallying behind this family. They're here with me right now at the site. This is the closest we've been able to get since the fire happened on Sunday, Matt Lisa. They're here right now trying to help Alexis salvage what they can from all of this wreckage, from all of this debris. If you at home, folks, if you'd like to help out too, we've attached a link to a GoFundMe account attached to this story right now on our website. Get results for this family. Help them out by going to clickorlando.com. Matt, Lisa. All right, James Barbero reporting live in Brevard County tonight. Thank you.